is there like a basic breath exercise that you might be able to, um, you know, express briefly to some of our listeners? Sure, 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 sure. Mm -hmm. So um, I like this one. I I do this one. I was just doing this at the beach earlier um, yesterday, but just to start off, um, we can go just a, a brief nose breathing. And this isn't like the, the extreme breath work that we do or the holotropic breath work. But if you want to just come along, we'll just take one minute to kind of give you a little guide. It's really simple and it just brings us present. But I like to start my meditations with this sometimes is if you want to bring your, your thumb and your forefinger to your nose, right? And we'll start off by shutting our eyes and closing our right nostril. Okay. With your thumb and then inhaling through your left nostril, closing your left nostril with your forefinger and exhaling through your right nostril. And then inhaling through your right nostril, closing your right nostril with your thumb, letting go of your forefinger, exhaling through your left and inhaling through your left. And then exhaling through your right. And then inhaling through your right. And then exhaling through your left. And then one more round, inhaling through your left. Exhaling through your right. Inhaling through your right. And then exhaling through your left. then might release and just allowing your body just to kind of go through those motions and have like a specific thing to do is um is really just it brings us in a little bit more instead of going what should i be because we were action we need to be in action and there's another one as well we can do it's called box breathing and this is another navy seal training i don't know if you ever they use this but it's called the four by four It's box breathing. And essentially, again, we can shut our eyes and I'll just go through two rounds of this real quick. But essentially, it's just inhale for four seconds through your nose. Two, three, four. Hold for four seconds. Two, three, four. Exhale for four seconds. Pause for four. Two, three, four. Inhale for four. Two. Pause for four. Exhale for four, pause for four, and inhale for four. And we can just do that as long as we choose on your own little rhythm. That's another really good one. And essentially what those two things will allow us to do is whether you felt it or not, a little calmness come over you, your cortisol levels start to drop, right? Any stress hormones you might have in your body. And also your nervous system will begin to stabilize. And that's where I think, and and the other thing is if you were in that fight or flight left brain type of mentality that a lot of people are in, in their lives, that survival brain. And if we had a, a actual scan, CT scan over your head, if you do that long enough, you're going to see the gray matter move from the left brain to the right brain. Again, the right brain is more of the, the, the compassion, the sage, the innovator, the um, uh, getting into to, to creativity, more creativity, all of those things is where most of us want to operate from. And studies show if we can operate from there, not only are you going to, you know, if you're in business, you're going to make 30% more, you're going to live 10 years longer, you're going to be exponentially happier. And that's the whole point of doing this work is to come from that state of your brain right? As opposed to living, which most people do in their left brain, where that is judgment, survival, anxiety, anger, fear, blah, blah, controller, all that other stuff that, that we were taught as kids, you know, how to, how to live. So how is it that this breath work can actually get you to function more from the other hemisphere of your brain? And, and I guess the other question is, um, you know, we had two different exercises. Does each type of breath work does it kind of access a different part of the brain does it have different functionality well well those breath works are just just simple little practices you could do 
when we do actual, when I teach actual holotropic breath work, it goes like this. It's the breathing goes like this. It goes. <sighs> and you're doing that for about 25, 30, 40 minutes at some point. So you're breathing wow. into your belly, into your heart and exhaling all through the month. Right. So that's the intensity of the breath coming from that. Now, at first, you're going to find resistance come up. You're going to find uh, uh, a little bit of maybe lightheadedness, all this other stuff as your body ad adjusts to that intense type of breathing. So again, like you, for you, you said the subtleness, you might fall asleep or whatever. So those things might work at a certain time, but that active holotropic breath work that I just showed you is the real intense stuff that, that really allows us to, to get deep, deep, deep into the soul.